As of May 12, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 4,088,848 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally with 285,153 deaths. There are now 1,743,717 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. As of May 13, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded a total of 18 confirmed cases of COVID-19. The last case has now recovered and been discharged from the hospital. All 18 cases are therefore fully recovered. The Ministry of Health have received results for 52 samples and they were all negative. These samples were mainly captured through the community respiratory clinics. This brings a total number of tests conducted to date to 727. Although we are pleased to maintain a low transmission level of COVID-19 in country, we remind the public that we are still at risk and must remain vigilant as the threat continues. As we progress with the phase reopening, we must ensure that all protocols are ahead to. We recognize the efforts of a wide cross-section of the population in adopting the recommended infection prevention and control measures and taking the necessary precautions when having to venture out in public. We would like to see these measures adopted at the community level as well. We call on all community leaders, gatekeepers, and heads of organizations to support the Ministry of Health in the implementation of these measures. We continue to request that every individual practices standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. These include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer where soap and water is not available. Cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing. Avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing. Wear your homemade or cloth mask whenever venturing out from home. Maintain a six foot distance when in public, even while wearing a mask. Seek medical attention if you have symptoms suggestive of respiratory illness, either during or after travel. Refrain from touching items unless you intend to buy them when grocery shopping and otherwise. The Department of Health and Wellness will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.